Mr. Taylor? Detective Stuyvesant? Yeah. Hi, have a seat. You know, any way that I can help? Um, I didn't know Sally too well. Uh, Alistair McCree, you uh, was a student of yours. Yeah. Yeah, I hoped he'd win me that. Wouldn't be what, sir? Well, you know, everyone on campus knows Alistair's missing. You know, I know expert detective, but I just, I have to say, Alistair was one of the more gentle human beings I've ever met. You know your students well? I'm a student myself. I'm, uh, I'm working on my PhD, and, and I, I help out, as you say. Well, the faculty says you're one of the brightest psychology students they've ever had. <laughs> no. So I, I help out pretty well. One of my strengths would be that I don't take it all too seriously. Strengths and weaknesses, that's one of my areas. Why I'm up here watching hockey jocks. This guy doesn't know when to quit, huh? Which would be his weak point. Sheer obsession won't get the job done. Marcus Stark, he coaches here. Angry guy. Tried out for a season last year with the Maple Leafs. Hockey jock, didn't make it, had to come back home. When was the last time you saw Alistair McCray? Uh, the morning of the day, that day, uh, we'd done some tests. He didn't appear troubled. His relationship with Sally was maybe going a little too fast for him, but we had to talk about that a while back. But I think it had worked out, you know? I mean, before, I can never see him hurting anybody unless he lost his temper. This is your professional opinion? No. No. You know, when people know you major in psych, that's one of the first things they're waiting for. The minute you start to analyze them, it really pisses people off. <laughs> Confidentially, that's the only reason we do it. <laughs> Well, I'll let, you, uh, I'll let you get back to work. Likewise. Yeah. Did you, did you happen to hear anything about uh, an older man hanging around campus? Yes, there was, um... Called, uh... Began with a G. Yeah, hey, hey I, asking questions about Alistair, yeah. I heard he was, he, he was, uh, 50s. Odd manner, serious looking. Sorry to call you. I found this in the lecture room. I didn't know what it was, but it's... It's Alistair's writing, I think. Uh, to talk to Glenn. Did Alistair speak with you? I wish he had. Um, I feel bad. I feel bad that I didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. Last year, Alistair and I, we saw each other socially. You need to know this, don't you? Yeah. But this year, things were different. He was, he was more withdrawn. You gave him quite the character reference when we talked previously. I didn't want to put him in too bad a light, it's true, but that's just because I didn't consider him capable of a violent crime, I'm sorry. Anything else? Uh, um, he, he speaks about others, talk to others? No, I can't really say. Um, he wasn't a great socializer. He didn't belong to any groups I know of. Thanks for getting in touch. This helps, certainly. Um, if I have another queries, I'll call you. Thanks. But I suppose, uh, if you don't have any queries, then I won't be hearing from you again. Well, that would be reasonable to assume. <laughs> okay. But, you know, this is a small town. People run into people all the time. My mind is mainly elsewhere. Oh, of course. Absolutely. I understand. Okay. You're supposed to let go here, Nick. You know, reach for the dream. Either way, you're saying you're gonna kiss her? Yeah, as it happens. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, Bill. Six. I'm happy. <laughs> With what? I'm happy. Hey, guys. Roll one for me? Yeah, okay. You know your choices? Yeah, I got them right here. You're one of the cops, aren't you? Yeah, this is personal, though. Two. How's that? Yeah, I'm happy. Thanks. Hello, Stuyvesant. Glenn. Yeah, no, uh, no, it's not a bad time. I'm actually, uh, I'm, there's not much I can do right now. Well, I, I really want to help. Yeah, in any way I can. Yeah. You know, uh, I'd like to think that we were friends. Do you think that we're friends, Patrick? Oh, you never know. 
Alright. Alright, goodbye. Bye.